What's up, YouTube? I'm finally back. Super Dan Shoe Man's finally back. It's been like over a month since we've recorded a video, over a month since I've published a video, other than the Baby Giggle video that I didn't even put any tags in, so it's not like I was trying to get that searched up or anything and, and get it to go viral, although Trent's pretty cute. And yeah. He, he could definitely go viral. So I'll link that, that video here so you can see it if you want to. You can go back to it after the video, whatever. Uh, make sure you come back here, though, because I've decided I've got all these shoes. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen shoes. I got some merch in there too that I haven't opened. And they've just been sitting here. And I decided though I needed to come back with a bang. So I've got a banger that I'm gonna give you today. And then I've also got the washed pink, I think it is, Jordan 1 washed pink that's coming out on Saturday that I'm gonna try to get recorded and up on Friday so you can see that one too. I got exclusive access on sneakers for that one. But like I said, this is the one that I really needed to give y'all. So I've seen a lot of other videos. I haven't watched, stopped watching YouTube videos. Oh, we got to give the word from our sponsor. First. Oh, yeah. I missed Easter. I really wanted to give a little Easter word from our sponsor. So I'm just going to give it to you now. This is from Luke 23. And uh, this is about when Jesus was getting crucified. And this is obviously not, this is the precursor to Christmas when he's getting crucified. And this is Luke 23, verse 39. Um, and it says, one of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. So Jesus was hanging on the cross, and then there were two criminals on either side of him. Uh, Jesus was getting crucified as a criminal, and then there were other criminals who had done more criminal type things, uh, things that we would normally expect a criminal to get themselves crucified. And crucifixion was like the capital punishment, the worst one back then. So one of them uh, said, aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. He's like mocking him. If you're the Messiah, dude, you should be able to get us off of here. So just save us. You must not be this Messiah if you're not going to save us. Little did he know. Um, but the other criminal uh, rebuked him, meaning the other criminal. He said, don't you fear God? He said, since you are under the same sentence, we are punished just, justly for what, we are, for what we are getting. Our deeds deserve, but this man has done nothing. And then he said to Jesus, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus answered him, truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. And I, I watched this video kind of about that interaction and what might have happened after that. And this is uh, obviously probably not what happened. But I think we've all heard, you remember this, when I said this at church, right? Yes. We, I think a lot of us have heard about the pearly gates and there's going to be this angel sitting up there by the gate. So I just wonder what happened when that guy got to the gates. He didn't know anything about the gates, I don't think. He was, you know, he, he all he did, knew was that this guy was getting crucified because he said he was the son of God. His name was Jesus and he was being mocked. For being the king of the Jews, there was a sign above his head that said "King of the Jews," as if he was uh, the, the son of God that he said he was, the, being the king of the Jews. And I wonder what that what that man, what that interaction was like when he got to the pearly gates, those gates that you have to walk through, gates that are doors that stop you from getting into heaven. Um, and I wonder what that conversation went like. He, was, he went like, "Hey, uh, I'm here. You know, what, what's going on?" And again, this is kind of uh, taken from another video I saw, but he's like, "Hey, what's going on here?" Um, I'm here. Can, can I get through? It looks pretty nice back there. And the angel was probably like, okay, yeah, sure. So why are you here? And he's like, well, I don't know. He said, oh, okay, well, why, why should I let you in? I don't know. He was just introduced to this, this whole idea, most likely. It's like, so, but why are you here? And he's like, I, I really don't know. He's like, so you don't know why you need to get here? He's like, let me, let me call my angel supervisor over. So the angel supervisor comes over. He's like, all right. So you're here, you know why you're here? It's like, no, I really don't know. Like, what do you mean you don't know? Like, did you go to church? Like, no. Do you know anything about the scriptures? The Old, the old Testament scriptures at that time? Like, not really. And he's like, so what makes you think I should let you in? And he had one answer. He would have only one answer. He would only, most likely only possibly even have one answer. And he'd say, that guy on that other cross, the middle cross, he said I could. And uh, now we get to the piece of Easter. So that's really the only answer that any one of us could possibly give if there was a situation like that at the gates. It's like, I'm just here because Jesus said I could. But now we get to Easter and what happened on Easter. And Easter is to celebrate when Jesus rose from the dead. He died there on the cross. He's put in a tomb. And then three days later, he rose from the grave. Now, what if that supervisor angel said, oh, you're talking about Jesus? Yeah. Sorry, he didn't make it. So if Jesus had died, been crucified, and actually just died on the cross, that, that would be the response. He, he didn't make it. Like, what he said really doesn't have much bearing because he's dead. But Jesus rose from the grave. He conquered death on that day. He beat death. 
uh, in, in the literal sense, but also in this more figurative sense of, or spiritual sense of eternal separation from God. And that is why the, the, the angel not having to say, oh, he didn't make it, the angel was like, in that case, I'm going to let you right in. Because Jesus conquered death and conquered that eternal separation from God that we have or had at the time, then we can get in. So that was a little bit longer, but I really wanted to give it to y'all. And really wanted to give it to you on Easter. But here we go. We're well, two weeks after Easter. All right. So let's take a look at these two shoes. This was 2021 or 2020, I think. The, the University Blue Jordan 1s. These things went crazy. They're still going for four or $500 a piece, I think. Um, there's been more fiasco going on with StockX, and StockX has always been at least the easiest way and historically a fairly accurate way of uh, gauging the price, the aftermarket price of a shoe. Um, but especially with Jordan 1s and especially with hype Jordan 1s, that might be hard to, to tell now. We can talk more about that if y'all haven't heard about it, but there's just more fiasco about them selling fakes. So uh, this was hyped, but then we fast forward to the end. Oh, this is 2023, I think. Was this this year? Is this the end of 2022 or this year? No, I think it was the end of 2022. Yeah, okay, the end of 2022. And like, and I heard another another YouTuber saying this. This is basically a shattered backboard. The shattered backboard is, is going for a lot of money. And this is almost the same leather material, like buttery everywhere. This black is great. The yellow is just buttery. It's soft and it, it moves the way I want it to. It wrinkles the way I want it to. It's wearing well. The crease that started to come on here is, is fine with me. It actually makes it look better, in my opinion. Just a great shoe, but this thing kind of flopped. Like, and I, and I still think that the resale price is pretty slow. Pretty low, not pretty slow. But this is the color blocking of the shoe that I have today. And this is the, the colors, or the a basic color that uh, we're getting here in 2023. This was on my 2023 must cop, must cop list. It was really my only 2023 must cop. I think I've got probably the Jordan 11 DMP. Um, the, the the Concord, except it's got gold on it, um, is, is, is probably also on my must cop list. Fortunately, must cop list uh, would have had unions on it, but the unions are kind of trash. So anyways, this is the, the shoe we're going to look at today. If uh, if you know what this box means, this, this uh, packaging Can't means. Can't show you the box. Then you know. Huh? Oh, did you take the address yeah, and stuff off? Oh. Um, if you I know, then you know. The box. If not, you can ask me about it. We can talk about it in the comments. I'm not trying to hide anything. But uh, this is a way early release. These have not released yet and they're not widely available in the aftermarket. But I got them here today. So we're going to look at the quality of these. This may or the quality on, on these shoes that I get from this guy uh, are generally very accurate. So we'll hopefully get a good idea of how these are going to actually be. But from the looks of images, at least, they, they're going to look a whole lot like the yellow toe, the yellow toe taxi. And. If, if they're the same materials, just a different color, I'll be happy. Um, come on now. I mean, the exact same materials. Is what I'm saying they, they probably are. Oh my gosh, they are probably are supposed to be the same materials. Whether the material quality, like whether this batch of this material is as good or not, is what I'm talking about. Um, and so my question now, though, to y'all is. Is the Jordan 1 dead? YouTubers are talking about that. The Jordan 1's dead. Nobody wants it anymore. A lot of them are sitting. I don't really think the Jordan 1 is dead myself. I think that's more of a uh, more a reflection of the macroeconomic environment, recession, not having a bunch of, and also not having a bunch of stimulus checks from the government to spend extra money, to have extra money to spend on shoes. But uh, I'm, I'm surprised that this bricked as much as it did um, because in my opinion, these are, these are pretty close, and you put this beside a shattered backboard, it's hard to see the difference. I mean, you can see the color difference. You can see a little bit of material difference, but not by much. So anyways, is the Jordan 1 dead? And if it is, that means these are going to brick. What? No, I thought you said something like, I thought you mistalked, but I really If it didn't. is dead, then this is going to brick, and it's going to be really easy for you to get these. You'll probably get multiple pairs if you want them. I'm definitely still going to be going for them on release day. But I'm excited to see these because I definitely want to wear these. And I've actually had it sitting here in this stack for over a week. That's, I mean, even though this is one of my must cups, it sat here for over a week before I even opened it. So, Haley, what do you think? You're quick. Mm, I like those. Mm, I like those. Mm, I like those. Oh, yeah. I like the color of them a lot. Oh, yeah. Let's take them both out. Let's make sure there's nothing else in this box. It's like a periwinkle almost. Periwinkle. 
Yeah, you know the color periwinkle? All right, I'm going to Google periwinkle. It doesn't look this periwinkle on camera. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to Google periwinkle. I'm going to put a Google image of the color right up here. <laughs> so, or actually, I'm going to put it right here. Let's put it right here, right over it my face. It doesn't even... Periwinkle. I don't know. I, I don't know if Okay, it's if you made that a little bit lighter, it'd be periwinkle. You made it a little bit lighter. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so uh, again, knowing where I got this from, this may not represent exactly the release, but let's actually look at this first. This is Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG University Blue, black white. Um, in French, they call it Bleu de Carolina. I don't know if that's the way the universe, these universities work. But we can see this is definitely a different color. It's not the same color, right? Right. Let's see if it's made of the same color as these. Nope. This is more like, no, this is not the same color of any of them. These were actually at least coined the UNCs. Well, other people will, uh, will fight you tooth and nail about these being called UNCs, whatever. If, they're, if University Blue isn't the University of North Carolina, then what is it? But anyways, let's take a look at these. I, I do, I'm not thrilled about the, the this tone though, the periwinkle. I am. You are? You really like the color? I really do okay. like the color a lot. I would not put those laces in it though. Definitely not going to put the laces. This frequently happens on retails too, that the, the colored ones don't match exactly the color elsewhere. I've got another pair. I think these actually came with these University Blues. Might come with something else. See, that's the same color there. I think it's the same color laces, but but also not the same color as the blue on here. I don't know. I, I, so, oh, the next one of the next videos I need to make because I, I hit on a shop drop today. Um, I was gonna see if I still have a Jordan Four Black, no Red Thunder. Black. Is that they're called Red Thunders? Yes. Um, four. Yeah, something like that. I knew I had those recently, but it's probably two months ago I sold 10 or 12 pairs of shoes, so I may not have any of them anymore. But I needed to get those out because uh, I needed to make a comparison on that if I have them. But the red, the, the crimson I think it was on that Red Thunder was just ugly to me. I couldn't stand that color red. I don't really like red that much, but like the red and the uh, Lost and Founds, I like that red okay. I mean, it's, it's wearable. The red in these bloodlines is okay. Got another pair of red Jordan somewhere that I wear. Those, the patent breads, I like that okay. But this is like almost, almost, not quite, but almost feeling like the red that's on the the, the red thunders, the crimson color. Like, it just doesn't hit right. What do you think? Mm, I think I like it because it's different. It's different. Okay. I haven't seen a Jordan that color. Now, I like blue, so I don't dislike this. Like, I dislike that crimson red, but it still just doesn't hit quite right like this hits right this might not so uh, i think a lot of people felt that way about the red thunders although the red thunders are now uh, increasing in resale value i think uh, i don't really pay haven't paid that close attention to the market in the last several months so several months so i'm not completely sure but uh i don't know it's it's hard to say um you guys smell on this i just smell glue it doesn't smell bad but it's not like I want to puke with glue, but it's mm. not anything but glue. Yummy. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at the, the toe box. This way. No. This way. No. This way. Let's look at this toe shape. I'll do it from the front. Oh. This, this uh, rand, I think, is what this is called. It's either the rand or the vamp. It's actually lower than this, and I like these really low uh, mud guards here, so it's low and it's more curved so I thought I disliked this a little bit but now that I put it up against this I actually like this one better what about you the shape it's it's subtly different it's not that much yeah. different but I think I like this one better mm. so one thing I always look at now with my Jordan ones and my dunks and other shoes too is how straight these toe boxes look <laughs> these look okay uh, I just feel like a lot of these get this this piece here with the perforations in it, the way the perforations are straight lines. If this isn't straight and if it's slightly tipped outwards, you just look like you're pigeon toed or duck toed. Duck toed, okay. Um, and I, I really hate that. I hate looking at it. I don't think it looks that bad on foot when somebody else is wearing it, but I hate looking at it from above. So, I, must cop, I don't know. I'll wear these and as long as they're comfortable, I'll, I'll I probably won't end up getting one pair to keep uh, when they release. 
okay we get dream cell insole in this one it actually says dream cell on this one they go back and forth i don't know why but let's see what else we got here this uh white leather on uh this retail taxi toe i think i like that leather a little bit better than what's on here this isn't quite so tumbled a little bit more polyurethane plasticky feeling on the outside not of jordan one mid but uh, but close, or not close, but closer to that than, than this is. So I think I like the materials a little bit better on this. These don't look quite as good, but again, we'll see when they actually release if, if that's what's actually used. The blue material on the toe box might be a little stiffer, which I'm okay with, but might also break in. I've worn these quite a bit. So here we go. This is the Jordan 1, the 2023 Jordan 1 High OG University Blue. I like this this color blocking. I know that the the, the, the toe color blocking isn't the, the typical hot Jordan, but at least it's got a, a black swoosh, and the color blocking is better than some. So I, I think these are going to sell out immediately, and, and they're not going to be easy to get, but we'll see coming up here in a few months. I think these might wait until June to come out, or maybe July. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Get some on-feed action. I'll give you some feedback hopefully in the next couple of videos on how these felt, if they're wearing increasing like I expect them to with this nice feeling leather. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them. It's growing on me. The color's growing on me. I'm probably going to wear these to work on Friday because I have to go to the office. So I'll wear them on Friday, get some, uh, some miles under them. Stay tuned because I've got so many more videos. I just need to get around to making videos on. I've got some more fish videos coming, the, the fish keeping videos. And I've got a couple more videos uh, not related to any of that stuff, just some stuff that's been going on here that I would really just need to, to, to record an intro for and, and do some editing. What else we got? Since the last video, I think we, we already looked over here, but since the last video I put in these clear acrylic cases, I got these at Costco. They're like a quarter of the price of the ones online. Um, put up my Jordan um, clock. clock. I need to fix it though because it's, it's leaning too far forward in the shoes. That are supposed to go on them or won't won't stay on them. Plus that door moves, so yeah. they don't just fall off. Uh, what else we got? Anything else? Oh, so stay tuned for the washed washed pink Jordan ones. Uh, I'm gonna maybe shoot that video right now and then let Peyton look at them, and get her re reaction afterwards. Um, what else? I got I got the Jordan three reimagined. They've just been sitting here, haven't actually looked at them in hand, but I got transpare too. And then I've got the, uh, the the shoe that I need to compare to the Thunder. I got two pairs of those in the shop drop. What else we have here? And this is what else is going on here. Some of these shoes are over six months old and have been sitting here in this stack of, how many did I count before, like 13? Yeah, something like um, that. Sitting here in the stack for over six months since before Trent was born. One pair I, I ordered uh, online the morning that Trent was born. So I'm kind of trying, <laughs> Esper's <laughs> over there watching me. Um, <laughs> I ordered these, I ordered that one like I said, the morning the Trent was born, and and kind of, and I've got some from before that that I ordered even before that that I still haven't opened. And I kind of decided it might be exciting for me. It might even be exciting for y'all that uh, I open these months and months and months later. I'm it's a it's a mystery unboxing to some degree for me because I'm not going to remember what is in in which box in most cases. And will you look here so you make sure. You're I I know I got it. But you're looking down there. I was she's looking at the dog foot. She doesn't want to show you her dog, so she's not going to point the camera down there unless she moves her dogs. I did move my dogs. <laughs> Bola! Right. Oh. Okay. So I thought that mystery <laughs> unboxing so that we can talk about in that video how we felt about the shoe when it released and how we feel about it now, six, seven, eight months later, when especially while this market has changed so significantly and a lot of shoes aren't selling out immediately, a lot of shoes, at least if they are selling out, they're really easy. Maybe not really easy. A whole lot easier to get. But I've just got so many of them here. And I think I've got maybe two of these pairs. Include pairs for Trent for twinning. Um, he's been wearing his Jordan 1 uh, Lost and Founds primarily. That's I mean, he's got a couple other pairs. He wore the, which ones? 12s? Yeah, he wore some 12s, like taxi 12s. Uh, I don't have taxi 12s right now. I didn't twin with him that day. I've got not taxis, but... The royalties I could have wore with him, worn with him, and then we got to move up to the two C's. The two C's, we got a lot of two C's. We got the Jordan 4 Military 11 Cool Gray, Ooh. Oh. and the Travis Scott, which is down there. 
I feel like those are those two C's are ones he's walking right yeah, there. Right yeah, the Air Maxes. Um, I got some Air Max big bubbles in here. I've just got so big much bubble. stuff, and I'm not even gonna remember what it is when I open it. So uh, we can y'all give me feedback when once we get to those videos. But y'all also let me know here what you think about the Jordan One. Uh, 2023 Jordan 1 University Blue. And if y'all want any information on where I got these from, they actually went down in price, so they're much less expensive than retails, and they get they get to you within like a week of paying for them, and like this is near, as near, as near retail quality as they come, and it's fairly consistent like that, so y'all let me know if you want some information on this. I'll get it to you without sponsor. So, thank y'all for watching. What else we got? Make sure you smash that like button, comment down below all the questions that I've asked, comment down below what you think about, what was it John 23? Um, and that story on the cross, and tell your grandma also, make sure you're subbed. I'll see y'all next time. You're so pretty. Say bye. Cheers. <laughs>